All right. Good morning, everyone. Boy, have we not had a good week in the Lord this week. Can we all stand up, please? I'd like everybody to come to the altar this morning. We're going to go ahead and have an altar prayer right off the bat. But before we do so, I want anybody, if you have any prayer requests to be made known, please let it be known now. Anybody have a prayer request? Amen. Let's remember this. Anyone else? All right. Remember Brother Bobby this morning, yes. Amen. Remember Jim this morning. Anyone else? All right, those who will, let's all come into the altar and let's let, let's, let God have the glory this morning. We will have the little children come on up first and let them do their special. Landon. I'm doing something different this morning. I'm fixing to throw them for a loop. Um, we're gonna start, I'm gonna start asking them to show you guys what they're learning each morning. So who did we talk about today? Oh my goodness, I told you I'd thrown them for a loop. And what did Samson do? He pulled down the pillars, right? What was his strength? He couldn't cut his hair right. So who cut his hair? <laughs> who, <laughs> who cut Samson's hair? Was it Delilah? Yeah. Yes. Right. So I told you I was going to throw them for a loop. They didn't know I was going to ask them questions. But they're going to sing for you this morning. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I told one to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. All right, if we all will, let's go ahead and stand. We'll do our morning pledges, and then we'll ask the choir to come up after that. All right. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and will hide its words in my heart 
that I might not sin against God. To the Christian flag, I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again. And to the American flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll ask the choir if they will. Come on up, please. singing all of them but four.
Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Hear our thank is Down. Everybody, please stand in fellowship, please.
Amen. We'll go ahead and have the girls come on up and let them get ready. Those of you that has a special song, get ready. We'll have you up here in just a moment. the stars one in all he knows how much sand is on the shore sees every sparrow that falls he made the mountains and the seas he's in control of everything of all creatures great and small and he knows my name every step that I take every move that I make Every tear that I've cried And he knows my name When I'm overwhelmed by the pain Can't see the light of day I know I'll be just fine Cause he knows my name I don't know what tomorrow will bring I can't tell you what's in store I don't know a lot of things I don't know all the answers to the questions of life, but I know in whom I have believed. And he knows my name, every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I've cried. He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the pain, can't see the light of day. I know I'll be just fine, cause he knows my name. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that. All right, who'll be next? Brother Dan? All right. going to sing a song that's one of my great comforts. If anything marks the 21st century, I have a formula for it. It's called P plus G equals C. Pride plus greed equals corruption. We are in the greatest century of corruption ever. The United States of America has embraced censorship the greatest tool of all dictators. And here we see it all around us, in the government, in the medical association, in the schools. And it gets depressing when you think about it. I sang this song at my mother's memorial about a month ago. I'm going to sing it for you all. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home 
in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior pardoned me, and now I would go. I know he'll take me through, though I am weak and poor, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I had no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. I have a loving Savior up in glory land. I don't expect to stop until I with him stand. He's waiting now for me in heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I had no friend like you. Amen. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just up in glory land will live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their songs of sweetest praise drift back from heaven's door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I had no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. I have to read one of those signs this morning. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. Always. I don't sing this song in a long time, so if I mess up, it's for his glory, not mine. <laughs> I've been traveling here in this life with its heartache, trouble, and strife. Sometimes Satan tries to tell me to turn aside. I say, Satan, get thee behind. No returning in me you'll find. I'm too near my heavenly home to turn back now. Just one glimpse inside the home gate will be worth whatever it takes. We will make it through by God's sweet grace. I'm too near that wonderful home just beyond the blue. I'm too near my heavenly home to turn back now. There is nothing to go back to. Oh, praise God, heaven's in view. I'm too near my heavenly home to turn back now. Just one glimpse inside the home gate will be worth whatever it takes. I'm too near my heavenly home to turn back now. I read a verse in scripture in Sunday school this morning, and it talked about the God of peace will bruise Satan with his feet, with his feet. I can't help from moving my feet this morning because God is going to take care of all of us. We love him, and, God, and the devil knows that. And that's why he is so, so hard on us. But we'll make it through by God's grace and the love and mercy that he extends to us. Precious 
is my salvation this morning. All right. If I could, I'd like to men up for the morning offering, please. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, brothers. All right, Brother Jeff, you want to lift up some prayers this morning? Amen. Amen. Does there anybody else have any other special singing this morning? There's a country where I'm going, there are mansions standing tall, for here there's troubles and tribulations, but he will take me. Through it all, through it all, he will take me, for I may stumble, and I may fall, but he loves me, he'll not forsake me, he will take me Amen. through it all. You know, we all need, you know, at the end of the day, we got the Lord on our side. You know, we fight the devil every day, and we will till we die. But we got to love everybody. You know, my son told me one time, he said, Mom, he said, what's wrong with Christian people? We ju use judge. We don't need to judge nobody. Amen. Right. Because we're all sinners saved by grace. Amen. 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 Yes. He 
And if you're going to go to heaven, you got to eat everybody that is saved is going to be there. You're not going to have a church here, a church there, here, there. We're all going to be there together and love everybody. Please remember me because I have a hard time every day. I wasn't going to sing this morning because I said, I can't breathe this morning. But I got you all to help me. <laughs> when I'm burdened and broken hearted, I think of that morning when he will call all our troubles will be beyond for he will take me through it all through it all he will take me for I may and I may fall, but he loves me. He'll not forsake me, for he will take me through it all. Anybody else? All right, Brother Hill, if you would, please. I think I've got this thing turned on. If I don't, just uh, uh, tell me, and I'll I'll try to adjust something. Uh, <clears throat> it's good to be in God's house this morning, amen? amen. It's good to be a child of the King. Glory be to God. Amen. I tell you what, when I walked in this morning, just what a wonderful spirit here. Uh, you know, it's not everywhere that you go, amen, that you can feel something, amen. amen. It's good to be among God's people. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Uh, I tell you what, I'm so thankful, amen, to be this way this morning. I'm so thankful to have an opportunity to be in service with you, to worship and to praise. Uh, wonderful singing, the children and everyone. Uh, what a wonderful job and uh, just such a wonderful time so far this morning. Let me tell you something. If you're here this morning, amen, and um, uh, you need to come to this altar. Don't let my preaching stop you, amen. Amen. Uh, you come right on. Uh, glory be to God. That's what it's all about this morning. Uh, let's feel free in God's house this morning. Uh, we're here this morning to worship and to praise with you. And uh, got a little bit of scripture I'm going to read. And as I was doing some studying this weekend, and Brother Bobby called us to come this way, and I uh, had a few things upon my heart, and I began to pray and ask God, uh, what would you have me to bring? He put some scripture on my heart, and uh, uh, but he didn't tell me where to start at. I've got a couple different places I want to read. Normally, I try to end on a um, <clears throat> on an uplifting note in the in a message, uh, but this morning I'm going to start at the end. Glory be to God. If you got your Bibles, turn over to the Book of Revelations, the uh, seventh chapter. We're going to read a little bit. May uh, flip over to Galatians or Matthew this morning. But I tell you what, I'm here to praise God this morning. Amen. There's an empty tomb this morning, church, and it's still worth praising him about. It's still worth shouting about. Amen. It's still worth 
uh, all, all the heartaches, troubles, and trials that go on down on this side, glory be to God, because we've got one, amen, that's going to bring us through, glory be to God, as they sung that song. Uh, we'll read just a little bit here, um, Revelation chapter 7, starting <clears throat> in verse 9 says, After this I beheld in lo a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Woo! And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders. Whew, glory be to God. <clears throat> and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne and their face and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are uh, arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Glory be to God. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night. And his temple, and uh, he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. Uh, they shall hunger no more, who thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them nor the heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Glory be to God this morning. Let us pray. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your sweet spirit this morning. Father, most of all, we thank you for your precious word and the promises found therein. Lord, we ask you just to get ourselves out of the way. Let nothing be of me, Father, but everything of you for the uplifting and glorifying of your sweet and holy name. Father, you surely are worthy of it. Father, we ask you just to anoint our mind and anoint our throat. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, my Lord and my Savior's name I pray. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Whew. Church, we are in troublesome times in the world today. Amen. Heartache on every hand. <clears throat> Christianity doesn't seem like it's the popular thing anymore, is it? There was a time when I was a child when uh, come Sunday morning, uh, uh, most every church parking lot as you went through La Follette, amen, was full, amen? You didn't hardly see anyone out on the roads that was going anywhere other than church, amen? Now this morning on the way up here, I passed several vehicles going up to the mountains to go riding. Amen. I passed several people probably going toward Knoxville to go shopping or uh, go out to eat or something like that. Uh, got all kinds of time for all kinds of things. Amen. But they don't have time for God. Amen. Unfortunately, that's the world in which we live. The very book that we're reading out of says it was going to be that way and that it'll get worse and worse. Amen. I I'm sorry to tell you this morning this world isn't going to just about face, uh, amen. It's going to get worse, amen, because the king, amen, is coming one day soon, amen. I believe it's nigh at the door, amen. If it was hands upon a clock, I believe it's 1159, church. I believe it's getting ready to strike midnight. I believe he's on his way. There's wickedness and hatred in every which way you turn today, amen. There's not even a, there's not even a reverence for the house of God or his people anymore. Amen. If you didn't go to church, amen, you usually didn't go much of anywhere until after church time. Amen. Now people 
mow their grass while you're having church. Amen. <clears throat> right next door to the church house. But as I just read, there's coming a day. Amen. There's coming a day. Glory be to God. Amen. When we will be with the with the one who whoo, who saved us. Amen. We'll be with the one who hung upon the cross. Glory be to God. Amen. We'll get. We'll be like Thomas. Amen. Uh, 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 Jesus said, "Look upon uh, uh, the the nail scars up in my hands." Amen. Put your put your hand in my side, and Thomas. Hey, woo, glory. He didn't kneel down and do it, amen, but he knelt down and began to worship and praise him and said, my Lord, my God. Woo, that's what he said. My Lord, my God. Woo, when he saw the nail scars, he knew who he was talking to. Woo, there's going to come a day that these old eyes, woo, are going to see the nail scars, glory be to God. They're going to see, amen, the side, amen, where they pierced him. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, there forth came blood and water, whoo, for our cleansing. <clears throat> we'll, be, uh, we'll be translated into a brand new body, amen, if we don't go by way of the grave before then, amen. Whoo, we'll be in that spiritual body. And I'm guessing it's going to be a, a whole lot uh, uh, less pain in it than the one in this one. Amen. I'm just about 37 years old. I'm not quite that old, but I'm not quite that young anymore either. Amen. In the past few years, it seems I get up out of bed and I hurt just a little bit more than I used to. Glory be to God. Amen. Whew. Never knew I could hurt myself sleeping, but uh, glory be to God. This body is wearing out. Amen. Uh, when sin came up on the scene, amen, when uh, Eve took of the fruit and uh, Adam right after, death came upon man. And when death came upon sin, amen, came into the world. And it's been rampant ever since. Glory be to God. Now there's been times when it's been lower than others. And uh, you, like I've done said this morning, you look around at what's going on and uh, the heartaches and troubles and strifes, amen. You can't hardly even afford to put gas in your tank to make it a week back and forth to work, amen. That's the truth. And I don't care what affiliation you have this morning, which way you vote, uh, glory be to God, you better get on your knees and ask God which way to vote amen. to rule this nation, amen. It's not about that, but I will tell you, amen, the Bible says that we battle not against flesh and blood, but against wickedness, amen, in high places. Glory be to God. Amen. The devil is surely on his job this morning, church. Amen. And we uh, that are Christians are striving for this day uh, that I've read about, a day where the Lamb will be in the midst of whoo, the throne, and he shall feed and shall lead them uh, unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. That's the day at which we look for. That's that glorified hope, amen, that we have each and every day. Woo! Amen. But while we're down here, glory be to God, there's still some work to be done. Amen. Over in the book of John, uh, <clears throat> the 20, 20th chapter, verse 21 says, Then Jesus, uh, 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 then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And then he uh, had said this, he breathed on them and saith to, unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Uh, whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted. And unto them, and uh, whoso sins ye retain, they are retained. Uh, this we have the great commission. He uh, brought the disciples together here uh, after the, after the uh, resurrection and he commissioned them to go out, amen, uh, to preach, to teach, to heal, to be his mouthpiece, amen, in the world today. And we have the same calling as Christians. We are to be uh, the, the living word of God, amen. This, by, this book is alive. I don't believe it's just a book, amen. Uh, it said, Behold, I come in the volume of a book. Glory be to God, for it is written of me. Woo! 
Amen? It's alive. And we are to be a representation of Jesus and that love this morning. And we have clear instruction uh, of how we are to do it this morning. Uh, we have clear instruction over in the book of Matthew, uh, the, the fifth chapter. I told you I was just going to jump around a little bit, but with the Lord's help, everything will be all right this morning. Glory be to God. I can tell you this, I, felt, I feel good this morning, church. Amen. Uh, what a wonderful spirit. If you come this way this morning needing something and you walk out the door needing it, glory be to God, it's your own fault. Amen. Seek him while he may be found. Amen. He's in this place. Uh, verse 13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost uh, his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing uh, but to be cast out and to be trotted under feet of man. And ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, uh, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Glory be to God. That's what we are to do. We are to be salt. Amen. I don't know if any of you know this or not, but salt, uh, at last count over a million uses for salt. Amen. A million uses. It's used in agriculture. It's used in uh, manufacturing of different things. It's used in cooking, of course, as we all know. Uh, probably most of us uh, uh, need to cut back a little bit on the salt. Amen. Glory be to God. But it's used for that. Uh, uh, it's used for preserving. Amen. Uh, some of you may uh, uh, remember this. I remember my, my grandmother years ago canning and doing different things. And uh, uh, Pap uh, had a smokehouse and he would salt cure hams and they would cake that salt on, on that. And it would keep, brother, amen. It was a preservative, glory be to God. That's what we are to do. Amen. As the world moves on around us, amen, we are to keep the faith, amen, keep the hope. We are to preserve the truth, amen, of this book. What is right is still right, amen, that was right when this was written. What is wrong is still wrong, amen, when this book was written. Glory be to God. We live in a world like it's done been said, the sisters said, uh, amen, people each and every way, amen, they seem to go against God's word. Amen. And you can see how the world is becoming more and more corrupt. And it's reached our very own country. It's reached our very own state. Amen. It's reached our very own county. Amen. It's reached our very own door. Glory be to God. Drugs and alcohol are taking our children. And not only the children. Amen. But it, everyone of all ages. Glory be to God. Several years ago, uh, I was talking to the brother down at the funeral home at uh, Brother Terry that runs it. And I was asking him uh, <clears throat> about, about how many uh, funerals uh, he does that someone overdosed. And he said it's roughly two to one someone dying from old age or, or some other complication. Roughly two to one. Uh, glory be to God, that's in our very own county. That's in Campbell County. That's in Tennessee. Amen. Uh, in the Bible Belt. Amen. Tennessee's the buckle of the Bible Belt. <clears throat> it, uh, it's a sad time in which we live. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to put my children on the bus and let them go to school. Amen. I remember playing outside, and I'm sure you have heard other preachers say this, but I remember playing outside as a kid all around the neighborhood, amen? And as long as I was home before the porch light was on, I was all right. I was all right. Mom and Dad never come outside and checked on us a whole lot. They knew we was all right, amen? And, and if we got into something we wasn't supposed to, somebody in the neighborhood would see it and call them. And then they'd yell out the door, Get home to your mommy and daddy. That is, if they didn't whoop us before we left their property. And then when we got home, we had a whooping. Amen? And now, 
I won't even let my kids out in my yard. And it's fenced in. Amen, by themselves. Won't do it. Amen, that's the time in which we live. It's sad times. It's times that if you sit down and you think about it and you watch the news or you read the newspaper all the time, it'll get you so depressed and down. Amen, you feel like you just need to give up. Amen, that's what the enemy wants this morning, church. He wants us to give up. He wants us to sit down. He wants us not to testify and tell uh, the people at our work that we work with side by side about Jesus or, or to uh, uh, pray over your food when you go uh, eat this evening. Maybe you'll go out to a restaurant or something. Bow your head, amen, and say, God, thank you for this food, amen. Thank you, Father. There was a time when someone prayed, everybody around them stopped. No matter where you was at, if you heard somebody praying, you would stop. Amen? It ain't that away no more. It ain't that away. The world goes on. They don't have no time for Jesus. Amen? But we still have hope this morning in the blood of the Lamb. He's still sitting upon the throne this morning. Amen. He's still in the saving business. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Last Sunday at church we baptized two young boys. Praise God. Amen. And this coming Sunday, Lord willing, we're baptizing three more. Glory be to God. He's still in the saving business, church. Amen. He's still in the healing business. Glory be to God. He's still the same God, amen, that performed all them miracles way back when. Glory be to God. He's still performing them today. Amen. I could tell you stories. You look back there at my family. Woo, glory be to God. Right there sits a miracle. That little boy, the youngest one I have, amen, when the doctor said there's no way, amen, that you can have children on your own. It's not possible, amen, me and my wife, we began to get into foster care, and we adopted three wonderful children. I thank God for it, amen. And then we've had this one, glory be to God. Don't tell me God still ain't in control, church, amen. He's still in control this morning, amen. Woo, uh, glory be to God. When Moses parted the waters, amen, it was God who parted the waters. Woo, he's still doing the same things today. He's still making differences in our life. Amen, and we are to praise him for it. Amen, we are to work for him. Uh, some of you may know him, may not. Brother Carl, Carl Burge, went to my church for many, many years. He used to sing a song, uh, It's Worth It All for One More Soul. A lifetime of labor, amen, is still worth it all to watch one more soul walk down the aisle. Everyone that's saved, church, we get closer to that number that no man can number. Amen. That I read about there at the beginning. Woo. Amen. Who are these with palms in their hands? Whew. They are these that come through great tribulation. Amen. I'm not telling you this morning that it's going to be easy to be a Christian. I'm not telling you this morning that it's going to get easier. Amen. If you live for him. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you the same thing Jesus told his disciples. The Son of Man doesn't even have a place to lay his head. Amen. It's going to be a rough road to hope. Amen. But we have children and we have loved ones that we want to see saved. Amen. I would love if I could. If I could, I, I, I would love for each and every person that I ever come in contact with to become saved. Amen. If, if I could thump them over the head with this big Bible and that's all it took, brother, whoo, ever, you'd see everybody walking around with a pump knot on their head. Amen. If that's all it took. Amen. But glory be to God, they have to accept it into their heart. Whew. The Bible says it's so easy a child could understand. Amen. Whew. To believe in the heart and to confess with the mouth. Amen. But it takes somebody whew, preaching a message. It takes the preached word, amen, to draw it. You say, preacher, I'm not a preacher. We're all called to be ministers, amen. 
We're all called to be ministers in some way. It might be a phone call. It might be a prayer. Amen. You never know what that can do to somebody. That can change their life. Amen. It might be how you handle the struggles that you're going through. Amen. When the storms come against you, maybe you're still praising God. Amen. Maybe when you walk into work and you kind of down in your back or your hip or, or whatever is bothering you, can't hardly get around, someone says, how you doing this morning, brother or sister? I'm blessed. Glory be to God. Amen. Let's not be one of them that, uh, uh, we, that someone turns and walks away from, amen, and not ask them how their day's going. Let's be one that they say, when I ask sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so how they're doing, I'm going to get the same Woo, I'm going to get the same answer no matter what's going on in their life. They're going to say, I'm too blessed to be depressed. Amen. They're going to say, I'm doing good. God is still upon the throne. Amen. Woo. We have a work to do, church. Amen. What a wonderful service this morning. Brother, that's all I've got this morning. Praise God. Bless you. Appreciate the thought. All right, we've heard the message tonight, or today. Uh, if anybody uh, has anything, what I would like to do, I'd like to recognize the two that were saved this week. Would you please stand up? Let's give God the glory for this. <laughs> well, we got three. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. God bless you all. All right. And like I said, there's still time for, if there's anybody else here, if God's dealing with you, the altar's still open. So, but at this time, um, is there anybody got anything to say about the service? Go ahead, sister. Bless her Lord. Bless her Lord. Praise God. Amen, sister. Apology accepted. I'll tell you what, it's just like my wife said there earlier, you know, and we talked about this in Sunday school. We are not to judge one another. We're supposed to love one another. How, how can we all make it to heaven if we don't work together? If we, if we, you know, it talks about that in the Bible. How can you love somebody and hate your brother? You can't. God loves each and every one of us. So we have to learn to forgive one another. So I'm not going to say anything else other than what the brother has already said. We appreciate you being here, Brother Hill. We thank you for the word. And we want to give God all the glory for everything that he's done here this week. So if I could, let's have the children all come up to the front. And we'll go ahead and dismiss the service. With all the children, everybody please stand. All right. All right. What are we supposed to do? Lift up your hands. And he lifted up holy hands and they shouted, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.